We're going to initially do the, the method as outlined in the manual, which is the paper method. This is a, an ordinary sheet of copy paper, just thin, cheap sort of staples copy paper. And we are going to level this to the thickness of a, sh a sheet of paper. The problem I have with this method, exactly the same with the FDM ones, is how thick is a sheet of paper? And they vary hugely from depending on what kind of paper you use depending on even if you got say staples brand standard copy paper and then another brand standard copy paper they might be the same gsm rating but you may find a variance in them so i don't particularly like this method but it's generally considered good enough to get you close enough unlike an fdm printer unfortunately you cannot see what's happening in the first few layers and you cannot adjust it on the fly. With an FDM printer, you can crank your bed up or down a little bit, or if you've got firmware installed, you can use baby stepping to nudge your Z-axis up or down a little bit. With a printer like this, you can't because you can't see what's going on. So it's got to be right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've torn this strip of paper so it's slightly narrower than the width of the LCD screen so it doesn't sit up on the edges and it sits right on the LCD screen itself. I'm going to go into the tools, move Z or Z and press the home button. The double beep that you heard there is at the point where the optical sensor is tripped and the printer is saying it's at its zero or home position. As you can see there, it's still floppy and loose and it is not obviously in an ideal position on the LCD screen. So at this point, we go back into here and switch to the 0 0.1 millimeter on the far left and we start moving down while wiggling the piece of paper in and out until we start to feel that we've got some tension on there. Now at this point here, I can feel that we've got some resistance. I can still feed the paper in and out, although it's getting trickier to feed, to push in but it's still fairly easy to pull out. Bear in mind as well, this ball socket, you will need the thicker, thicker of the two Allen wrenches supplied incidentally for this. This ball socket and the grub screw that, that tightens it, if you've loosened that right off, this plate will actually compress, it will lift as it presses down onto the LCD screen because there's a little bit of wiggle room in there. So as you tighten it, it will push this out a little bit. Be aware of that. What's, what I've done here is I've, uh, I've nipped it up until I felt it tighten and then I've backed it off just until the plate wiggles a, bit, a little bit. So that gives you less wiggle room up there. Now, as you can see there, I can still move that in and out. So I need to move it down again and probably another one, I think. Another one, I think. Yeah, now I can pull that out, but at this point, unless I really, really go to town with both thumbs down low on there, I can't push it in. It's, that's quite tight. I'm just going to go down another one, actually, to make sure I'm absolutely 100% happy with that. And that's, yeah, I can't push that. Yeah, that's, that's about where it should be. I can't really push that in now. So at that point, holding this level, I'm going to nip this up and then using this end of the Allen key, not the ball end to tighten it because this is how you can easily strip the Allen bolts, especially with the tools supplied with these. They tend not to be the best quality, uh, not just these, but any, pretty much anything you get. If you buy furniture from Ikea, you will generally find it's not the best quality uh, tools that come with it. So always use this end for the, the final tightening. Don't wrench it up too tight. You don't want to strip the aluminium, the threads in there, but nip it up sort of nice and tight and holding it down, make sure it's level 
on the LCD screen. I can still pull that out, it's very tight. I'm going to go back in the menu where it says Z equals zero, press that. This resets the Z zero position, continue yes or no, and we're going to press yes. So that should now have reset the zero position for the build plate. 